dear Professor Ploy, Poi, Ploy, dear colleagues, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, first, uh, let me greet you all, whether you are in Paris or online, from all across Europe. I would like to thank you all for your commitment to the fight against antimicrobial resistance considered by the World Health Organization as the one of the 10 greatest threats to public health on a global scale and also known, as it was mentioned earlier, as a silent pandemic. IMR must, with no doubt, be at the highest level of the political and international agenda, and this is the reason why we are gathered here today. I would like to start with a few numbers that most of you know, but it's always very useful to repeat them. In 2019, antimicrobial resistance was directly responsible for 1.20 million deaths worldwide. In Europe, more than 35,000 people are estimated to die from antimicrobial resistant infection each year. The health burden it causes is therefore at least as great as the one of influenza, tuberculosis, and HIV combined. Infectious caused by resistant bacteria threaten people at all stages of life especially the most vulnerable, newborn babies, children, immunocompromised patients, and the elderly. But beyond its harmful, harmful impact on human health, antimicrobial resistance also threatens animals, plants, and the environment. That is why efforts to tackle IMR must systematically integrate the One Health approach, which fully articulates human health, animal health, and ecosystems. And not only at the international level, but also at the national and local levels. To this regard, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the quadripartite organizations, and some of which are in the room, I think, uh, for their work to address AMR. As the French ambassador for the global health, let me talk about what France has been committed to doing in this field, and it was already mentioned actually by uh, the CEO of INSEAN. At the national level, France has been engaged to tackle AMR since 2016. Through the release of an interministerial roadmap gathering seven national ministries and different agencies. And reaffirming our engagement, this roadmap has been updated very recently and covers the next 10 years. France's priorities in fighting IMR are threefold. Firstly, in human health, we need to step up measures to prevent and control infectious, whether bacterial or viral, linked to healthcare or within communities. <laughs> Secondly, it is essential to promote the proper use of <coughs> antimicrobials, meaning their prudent and responsible use. But last but not least, combating antimicrobial resistance also requires the availability of safe accessible and effective healthcare products for curative, preventive, and diagnostic purposes. We need to encourage the development of new products through innovative and attractive research. At the European level, I would like to recall that during our presidency of the Council in 2022, France hosted a high-level meeting on IMR, which led to the adoption of an ambitious declaration with the Czech Republic and Sweden. 
It called for concrete actions on IMR through the implementation of the One Health approach. And thanks to EU JAMRAI 1, the European collaboration helped establishing and reinforcing networks share best practices on raise awareness. We need to capitalize on the first John Actions outcomes and on the lesson learned, which were and remain key to build a new and more ambitious John Action. <coughs> Always at the European level, I would like to welcome the new EU Global Health Strategy, which highlights the need to in intensify the fight against antimicrobial resistance. And finally, at the international level, France has also made the fight against IMR one of its main priorities for the coming years through the effective implementation of the One Health approach. And France Global Health Strategy, which was launched last October in Lyon, establishes this approach as one of its guiding principles. On the international scene, 2024 will be key to the fight against IMR. After, after three high-level ministerial conferences on IMR held in 2014 and 2019 in the Netherlands and in 22 in Oman, Saudi Arabia will welcome the fourth ministerial conference in 2024. And this year, 2024, will be marked by the high-level meeting on IMR in New York during the 79th session of the United Nations General <laughs> Assembly, during which we hope to adopt an ambitious political declaration. Furthermore, within the ongoing negotiation of the pandemic agreement in Geneva at WHO, we are pushing for the inclusion of the paragraph on antimicrobial resistance. It is always very challenging, but we need to push it. It would cover the essence of our main priorities on the thematic as IMR is a gravitating fighter during pandemics. <coughs> to conclude, there is still a long way to go. And today, today together, we are collectively taking another step forward in our European commitment. Let's maintain our efforts to share our expertise, best practices and know-how in order to concretely and better implement the One Health approach and combat antimicrobial resistance. Thank you very much.